Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meher Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to talk about what are the important theory questions to be studied for your MCOM part 1 semester 2 under the subject macroeconomics concept and application. Okay, very important for all the MCOM sem 2 students of part 1. Okay, now uh, again in economics, uh, basically you have four modules. So let us see from each module, which are the important uh, topic that you all need to cover up. Okay. Under module one, uh, define national income and explain the equation national income is equal to national expenditure, which is equal to national product. Number one, that is basically this. This question is basically just to understand the concept of what is national income. Next, explain the following concept. May you can get GNP, national uh, income deflator, GDP, NDP. These all can come for your concept question. Uh, explain the difference between real and nominal income. Okay, next, write a short note on the following methods of measuring national income. You can have census uh, uh, income method, expenditure method, census of product method. Okay, so they can ask you individually or in combine also. Uh, next, explain the difficulties encountered in the measurement of national income in India. Very, very important answer. Okay, that's a very important question. Okay. So uh, these are the first uh, few questions uh, under module one. There are a few more questions that you need to cover up in module one. Uh, the next is what is inflation and how inflation is measured? Explain the concept of GDP deflator. Explain the concept of purchasing power parity income. Explain the concept of Nash, uh, sorry, of human development. Next, explain the construction of HDI with suitable example. Basically, uh, explain HDI with some examples. And lastly, explain the criticism or limitation of HDI. Okay. So, uh, these were like around 10 odd questions, a very important question from your module 1. Okay. Next, under module 2, explain the trade off between inflation and unemployment with the help of Philip curve analysis, one of the most important topic under module two. Next, explain the derivation of Philip curve with the Keynesian, that is aggregate demand and aggregate supply model. Explain the long run Philip curve and the theory of adaptive expectation and explain the relationship between short and long run Philip curve. So basically in this, you have to learn a uh, Philip curve long run under short run and trade off between inflation and unemployment. So these three topics are very important from module two. Again, in module two only, we have explained the concept of effective demand. Explain how real national income is determined under Keynesian theory. Explain the aggregate demand function. Explain the aggregate supply function. And explain the concept of inflationary gap. Okay, so uh, these are all the questions which are very important from module two. Next module three may what is IS curve? Explain the derivation of IF, IS curve. What is LM curve? Explain the derivation of LM curve. Explain how simultaneously equilibrium in the good market and market money market is determined. So that is uh, the equilibrium of ISLM curve. Okay, next, what determines the slope of IS curve? What determines the slope of LM curve? That's the derivation. It's the same. It's the same question, the first and second one. In a different way, just ask. Okay. Explain how increase in money supply leads to a shift in LM curve. Okay, and then you have all the, explain the concept where they can ask you IS curve, LM curve, goods market equilibrium, money market equilibrium, simultaneous equilibrium in goods and money market, impact of government expenditure on national income and interest rate. Impact of reduction in government expenditure on income or uh, national income and interest rate and impact of monetary policy on the rate of interest and national income. And last, uh, we'll write a short note on the ISLM in India. Again, the answers are similar. The same only answer you can repeat them again and again. This was for module three. Last under module four. Explain the concept of balance of payment disequilibrium of an open economy. Explain the impact of expenditure changing policies on balance of payment disequilibrium. Explain the impact of expenditure switching policies on balance of payment disequilibrium. 
explain the mandel fleming uh, model very important topic explain the impact of devaluation on balance of payment disequilibrium and last explain the effectiveness or devaluation with the j curve again a very important topic it has, it has repeated many times in the paper okay so these were uh, the questions from your module 4 okay so for module 1 2 3 4 these are the most important topic that you need to cover up in order to easily clear your economics paper okay chalo i hope everyone have noted down those topics uh, with that we will be ending this video here thank you